Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Carr. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and I'm about to have my very first mail call. Well guys, I figured it is time for me to do my very first mail call. And the reason why it's my very first is because I'm a small YouTube channel and I don't get a lot of fan mail. But I have supported some other guys and they have in turn supported me. So we've got some fan mail or support mail, however you want to look at it. One of them is from Send It Steve. Uh, you guys have heard me uh, mention him in the past, right from one of my very first videos. Steve and I have known each other and um, we've never met face to face, but we converse quite, uh, quite frequently. And uh, if you haven't done so yet, go check out Steve's uh, YouTube page. He's kind of got this uh, backyard mechanic thing going on. He's got a 99 C5 Corvette that he's putting twin turbos on. And uh, yeah, he's he, he's got a very unique style. So don't forget to go check him out. He's got t-shirts and all that stuff available as well. So, so I did see his little clip. I believe it was on Instagram or maybe it was one of his videos where he had uh, his daughters, he's got three daughters and they were all um, you know signing these little cards when they were sending out the stickers to people who had requested them. Uh, the sticker or the, the card basically says thank you for your support and in turn I want to say thank you Steve uh, for your support of my channel because I know he watches them and for sending me out a send it Steve sticker. So thank you, Steve, for that. Steve's also available on Instagram. You can go check him out at send it underscore Steve. The next piece of mail that I have is from Grant Tommy. And Grant Tommy is also known as, or AKA, Straight Six Fam. Now, I had bought a t-shirt from him and I had also sent him in uh, a couple of my stickers for my channel and uh, along with a little letter and he had uh, taken the time to do a mail call read my letter and uh, what he does is anytime somebody sends him stickers he takes the stickers and posts them on the side of his toolbox uh, and his toolbox is starting to get filled so if you follow me on Instagram you know that you've seen this sticker before so Grant thank you so much for the sticker and uh, in, in turn for me sending you one and he's got a little letter that he wrote to me as well he says Jason I'm so happy that we've connected. Even though we're two time zones, one country, and 10 years apart, it feels like we're long lost friends. Uh, he goes on basically to say that um, he thinks that the halfway point between where he is and where I am appears to be uh, Austinburg, Ohio, and I think maybe what he's getting at is someday uh, we could each travel and meet up somewhere hopefully for a car show or something like that, Grant. I really appreciate you sending me the letter and that will do it for this little mail call. If you guys have anything that you'd like to send me, either it be stickers or letters or whatever, my address, Canadian and US, is in the comment section below. So please don't hesitate to do so. I would really appreciate getting some comment and feedback and maybe some stickers from some of you guys. So we are starting off this episode with the two cars behind me about to be picked up by the transport hall. The 2017 Ford Escape and the 2011 Mercedes C-Class were both supposed to be picked up last night. So when the hauler gets here, we're gonna set the camera up and watch them get loaded up for travel. So just like that guys, the vehicles are all loaded up. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's quite a difference in equipment with this hauling company compared to the one that dropped our stuff off. Looks like a brand new truck, brand new trailer, even a brand new Lexus. So we can say goodbye to the C-Class, 
and to the Ford Escape. And we've got one more addition to add to the old car auto inventory, and that is this baby. This is our, not new, but our new snowplow that will go on to the not new shop truck. Well guys, today we are going to be unboxing our newest addition to the old car auto guy vlog, and that is this Canon Rebel T6i. And uh, so let's get started. Open the box, of course, you got uh, lots of reading material. Registration, the CD. And of course, we got your neck strap. charger and a battery and a USB cable and one thing I noticed when I was doing some searching on which camera to get is that this has the old mini USB so uh, it's a little bit older style plug-in, so I don't know if I have any of these cables left around for an additional one, but this one here, I have to keep a tight rein on it for transferring videos. And now we have the camera body. And there it is, the Rebel T6i. And one of the biggest reasons why I went with this camera was for this right here. This is the view screen that will flip around so that when you're vlogging, you can actually make sure that you're in the shot and your lighting and focus is all there. It's something I don't get now with the camera I'm using, the uh, GoPro. It also has inputs for external microphone, which I do have coming, which will uh, mount right up on the top of the camera. It's got a really good feel. It's uh, it, you know it's very plasticky, but it does have some good grip, and uh, should be a good camera. We're going to uh, make sure we get some use out of it. Probably not on this vlog because I do have a couple other pieces coming for it, but that is the latest addition to the old car auto guy vlog so hopefully we'll start getting some better sound quality and some better pictures uh, so that we can share that on with you guys anyways thanks for uh, watching this little unboxing of the canon t6i so we're just going to jump in here real quick to give you an update on a couple of vehicles the 36 the 36 dodge project as you can see the hood is still off however everything is back together basically what that means is we were able to get the rattler on there it did eliminate a lot of vibration however it didn't eliminate all of it so I think we've ultimately decided that at this point the motor has to come out we're gonna get the crank out of it and we'll have to send that crank away to get balanced. Uh, there's no other reason for a vibration that bad other than the fact that it must be out of balance. So the crank likely is going to be uh, sent away. We don't know when we're going to do that because uh, it's uh, the, the car is taking up a bay in the shop and if we're going to haul the motor out of it we've got to have a place to store the car and likely it's going to be over in the other section. The other update that I wanted to give you was on our new shop truck. Um, it has turned into a little bit of a project, I guess, where we ended up putting lower and upper ball joints, inner and outer tie rods, a wheel bearing, pads and rotors on this side, and we did everything but the wheel bearing and ball joints on the other side. 
Back here, the brakes looked like they were fairly new not long ago. So we did just service up the calipers and uh, we took the parking brakes apart and freed up the pivot in there, which was seized up, which is common. To give you a better look at the rust situation on this truck, besides the fact that we've got some friends hanging out, is you can see that the frame still has lots of color as it did when it rolled off the assembly line. There is a little bit of brown on the body parts, but a good undercoating will stop that or, or slow it down drastically. As far as the rocker panels and cab corners go, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, get the rocker panels replaced. And I don't know if you can see that in there, but there is a hole in the cab corner. So the box will have to come off and we'll fix that as well. As far as the paint, these doors are still very solid. It's just without mud flaps on the front, it would peel the paint off the bottom leading edge of this door and it would just start going from there. So this should be a fairly easy fix. We should be able to go uh, with a repair from this body line down and just repaint the whole bottom, the whole bottom section. And as far as up here, we'll do the same thing. We will fix this and we'll likely end up putting a set of flares on there. There is no rust bubbles, just the paint peeling on the leading edge. A different story up here on the bottom side of the pat cap, we likely are gonna end up painting that whole side uh, because there is paint peeling along that edge up there as well. I don't know if you can see it, but it's up here as well. Tailgate's in pretty good shape, just one little spot above the door handle. Over here, it's not much different. We've got some paint off the leading edge there by the cap and up front as well, over the wheel wells. And it looks like this area here has been painted at one point before, not sure why. But uh, like I said, we might be able to come down. We're gonna paint this whole box side likely, but the rest of the vehicle from this body line down, we should be able to uh, paint it and uh, have it match up pretty good. But again, we've got uh, cab corners here, rocker panels the whole length, and the bottom edge of the door. Tires are beat. But because we're using this truck as a shop truck, it will get a, not a new, but a fairly good used Fisher plow, snow plow. Um, and we're gonna be heading to St. John today to pick that up. And then we'll get that all mounted up to this truck. So four brand new Cooper Weathermaster tires, uh, 265 70, 17 will be going on it. Those are oversized tires for this truck. However, it should fill the wheel well out very nicely and uh, set it up to look good. Other than the front end parts, the brakes, the uh, engine sounds really good. Uh, Dad took it for a drive and says it works A1. That five liters got all kinds of power still. Uh, this truck has 258,000 kilometers. We don't plan on reselling it anytime soon. So the mileage really doesn't matter. Uh, it's really the condition of the vehicle. So other than the rocker panels and the cab corners, um, it's, it's still fairly solid. So we're gonna get those fixed up and uh, we'll have it back and running to a regular looking truck in no time. Hey guys, I know that this video was kind of all over the place with selling cars and unboxing and updates and all that sort of thing. But that is how things happen in the car business. You don't know from one minute to the next what you're gonna be doing. Your priorities change all the time and you just can't get to where you're going some days. Anyways, regardless of all that guys, I really appreciate the fact that you're still sticking around, that you're giving thumbs up to these videos and you're commenting in the comment section below. It means a lot to me that you guys interact and give me some feedback because I know that sooner or later, this baby right here is what's gonna bring some viewers to this channel and uh, we're gonna have some fun with this. So guys, as always, keep focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys, God bless. We'll see you in the next video.